everyone, I'm Fran Richards and I'm the Senior Practitioner with the Grand Arena Youth Theatre. I'm here today at the Grand Theatre to deliver another brilliant workshop about superheroes. This is workshop two. If you miss workshop one, don't worry, that's fine. You can head to the Wolverhampton Grand Facebook page to catch up. For now, we're going to do a warm up to get ourselves ready for the rest of the workshop. OK, so it's time to get warmed up, ready for our workshop. This week, we're going to be warming up our voices as we're going to be using them a lot today. But we're also going to be using our bodies as they're also very important in drama. Now, superheroes are always very fit and healthy and ready to go. And that means that they eat lots of fruit and lots of vegetables. So today we're going to be talking about fruit and vegetables, but in a very unique way. What's going to happen is something called call and response, which means I'm going to say something and do an action, and then I want you to repeat it in exactly the same way at home. Or if you could be even more silly, that would be fantastic. Are you ready? Okay. Mango! Mango! Cucumber! Cucumber, raisin, raisin, banana, banana, pumpkin, pumpkin, p -p 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 pumpkin, mango, raisin. Cucumber, banana, pumpkin, pumpkin, p -p 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 pumpkin, strawberry, strawberry, mango. Wow, did you get to say all the fruits and vegetables? That's Brilliant. Maybe you could come up with some of your own vocal warm-ups to get your voice doing lots of high notes and low notes and using your mouth in lots of different ways. Think of your own favourite fruits and vegetables and what maybe your superhero would like to eat. Brilliant. You should all be nice and warm now, ready for the rest of our workshop. Today we're going to be looking at something called monologues. Now monologues are often used in theatre, in film or in television and it's when one person talks for quite a long time just on their own. Can you think of a time you've maybe been to the theatre or watched um, a film or seen a programme on television where one person talks for a long time on their own? Shakespeare uses monologues a lot and sometimes calls them soliloquies. This is when someone talks directly to the audience. Today we're going to be looking at monologues. Monologues are really great. If you are a little bit scared of standing on your own and talking, that's okay, lots of people are, but this will be a good practice because at some point in our lives we're probably going to have to stand up and speak on our own. You might have to in assembly or in front of your class at school or when you're older you might have to stand up in front of your colleagues. Who knows? But this is good practice for speaking in front of an audience. Now, when we're performing a monologue or speaking in front of an audience, one thing that's really important is projection. Projection is how we use our voice to fill a big space. Now, it's not shouting because shouting can hurt our throats. Projection is all about using our diaphragm, which is in here in our bellies. OK, a great way to practice using our diaphragm and getting ready to push out lots of words to an audience is by doing some breathing. I want you to imagine that in your belly there is a beach ball and in a second we're going to breathe in and we're going to fill up that beach ball and then we're going to imagine that the beach ball has a puncture and we're just going to let the air out very slowly on a sss sound, okay? So put your hands on your beach ball ready and we're going to breathe in and fill up your beach ball and out. Fantastic. 
Now it's very important that we try and sustain that s sound but that you don't do it until it hurts your throat because that is just defeating the object of what we're doing. We're going to do it one more time now. Are we ready? Put your hands on your beach ball and breathe in. And out. Fantastic. We have some enormous beach balls that are going to help us punch our words out to our audience. Now, to help us with that projection, I have a little activity that we're going to do together. Now, I'm lucky enough to be here at the Grand Theatre, so in front of me, I can see the gorgeous auditorium, I can see the stalls, which are at the bottom, the dress circle, which is the balcony in the middle, and the grand circle, or the gods, which is the balcony at the top. And I want you now to imagine that you're here with me looking out at the auditorium. And I want you to imagine that in your hand you have a small pebble. And it's our job to throw the pebble just to the front row of the stalls, the part in the bottom. So the very first seats we can see, okay? One, two, three. So we didn't need to use that much effort because it's not that far away from us. This time I want you to imagine you've got a rock, so it's a bit bigger and a bit heavier. We're going to try and throw this to the front row in the dress circle. Now remember the dress circle is that first balcony, so quite a lot further than the front row. Are we ready? One, two, three. <coughs> Brilliant. Now finally, this might need the most of your imagination, we're going to pretend to throw a boulder an enormous, ooh, heavy boulder to the gods, the very top circle. Are you ready? One, two, three. Yeah. Now, I'm sure you noticed that it took a lot more effort to throw a boulder to the gods than a pebble to the stalls. Now, that is just like using our voices. We need to use a lot more effort to throw our voice to the back of a room than to the front. So, this time we're going to use some words. And rather than physically throwing our pebbles, we're going to try and throw our words to those places. And along our superhero theme, the words we're going to use are, I am going to save the day. Can you say that? Fantastic. Let's give it one more try. I'll go first. I am going to save the day. Your turn. Brilliant. So, let's imagine that just like our pebble, we've got to send these words to the front row of the stalls, the bottom level. We ready? Three, two, one. I am going to save the day. Brilliant. You reach the front row of the stalls, level one of projection. But this time we're going to try and get to the dress circle. Remember, that's the first circle in the air, the first balcony. So this is going to need a bit more effort. We might need to use our beach ball capacity. So this time, as I count three, two, one, I want you to fill up your beach ball, but rather than making the s, that's when I want you to throw your words to the dress circle. So get your beach balls ready. Breathe in. Three, two, one. I am going to save the day. Fantastic. You're already starting to sound like superheroes. But here's the real test. Finally, we've got to throw our boulder of a voice to the back of the theatre, the very top level. So this time, we're really going to fill our beach balls. I'm going to count from five to one. And we're going to really push our voices, but remember not to shout. I know you can do this. Are we ready? Five four, three, two, one. I am going to save the day. Fantastic. I could almost hear you here. Okay, so now you are ready to project, but we don't have a monologue to project with. That's where last week's workshop comes in handy. If you've already completed last week's workshop, you should have a series of free writing that you wrote down. It's your job now to put that free writing together to make your own monologue that you can try and push right to the back of the gods. Remember to use your bolder voice and to fill your beach ball. 
If you haven't completed workshop one, don't worry, you can go back and complete it, but any set of writing would work for you. If you lost your writing from the first workshop, don't worry, you can do it again. My monologue goes like this. If I was a superhero, my superpower would be to turn all the weeds in my garden into beautiful flowers. If I was a superhero, I would help gardeners turn all the weeds into flowers so that they don't have to worry about the weeding. If I was a superhero, my superhero name would be Flower Power Woman. Now it's your turn to give it a go. Maybe get your parents or guardians to film you reciting your monologue and send them to us so that we can see how brilliantly you're doing. All details will be on the Facebook page. See you next week.